Welcome back, everyone. We have an update from Region Biopharma, Inc. Trades on the OTC pink sheets under the symbol RGBP. It's a biotech company focused on developing innovative treatments using autologous cell therapies, RNA and DNA-based immunotherapy, and small molecules in the immune, oncology, and autoimmune disease space. Happy to welcome President and CEO David Coase and Senior Scientific Consultant Harry Lander. Welcome, gentlemen. Happy to wow. have you back. The floor is yours, and then we'll jump into questions. Okay, cool. So uh, I've gotten a few questions about the uh, the orphan drug application that we've made to the FDA and where things sit. So we've worked diligently to uh, respond to all the all the issues, questions raised in the in the comment letter from them. And yesterday, I turned around the uh, the final document to them. Uh, so they have it today. I'm not sure if they'll have any more questions, which they get back to us with, and this is just the first round or what, what, uh, to anticipate with them, because it can be multiple comment letters, one after the other, be one comment letter and they're good. You don't know until uh, you get the next comment letter from them, so either, either clearing you or, uh, or allowing uh, uh, you to go forward, or we get into a situation where they may have some more questions that come up. Either way is perfectly normal in the process. I would expect we'd get another comment letter, but uh, we feel that we've addressed the issues that they raised fairly, uh, fairly heavily. Um, I have gotten some comments uh, from one of our shareholders. Uh, let's see. First question he raised was uh, uh, the funds we were raising from the new offering uh, would be used to pay off newly issued toxic debt. Has all the toxic debt been paid off? If not, how much is left? Oh, uh, left to pay off. Okay, so we actually got approval, got things rolling. Now the, the the one issue on the table for us is of the shares that have been registered or not registered, have been uh, 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 part of the Reg A, um, those shares, most of the people that will participate in them want to keep their stock ownership under 5%. So we've done three, three, three tranches totaling about uh, somewhere just under $60,000. And the only reason that number is so low is because any further ownership on the part of the parties that, uh, that are uh, uh, participating would cause them to become affiliates with the company. That being said, they're all willing to come back around again um, as soon as they're able to uh, not be classified as affiliates. So I would expect any one of these companies said they'd be happy to do the whole thing if it didn't make them a, an affiliate. So I'm not worried about getting the thing done. It's just that we have such a, a small number relatively small number of shares issued an outstanding that preclude anyone from participating in higher uh, numbers than they're currently uh, uh, doing. That being said, uh, I think that sequentially we'll see tranche of, tranches of participation as these people drop below their, their affiliate uh, status. So I'm not overly worried about that. I think, uh, but it's, you know, sixty thousand dollars isn't going to pay off all the uh, outstanding debt. We're going to have to do that uh, as we move along with the uh, with the offering. But it is it is starting to happen, so that's good. Uh, how soon? Will the funds necessary to start clinical trials with Hemaccelerate? That uh, we believe will happen in the next 
probably 30 days. So I'm very confident that we're going to be getting there quickly. Are you working along with, alongside with the F FDA expert or consultant that is advising you on how to answer the FDA questions? And yeah, we've got a couple of consultants on this. So I'm not worried about our expertise level in responding. We have responded, and that was FedExed out to them yesterday. So they've got our responses uh, today. How confident are you the orphan drug status will be approved? Um, I would think we're, very, we're all very confident about getting it approved. The issue on the table, though, is, you know, how many, how many more comments do we think we're going to have? I don't know. We're going to have to uh, uh, just wait and see if they have any more comments after what we submitted to them. And how long do we think it's going to take to get the final answer on approval? from the FDA. Um, there again, I don't know. <clears throat> we're, we're in a situation that's kind of a, we can only do what we're asked to do and we can't control, there's no specific cutoff time. You've asked five questions and, and uh, you know, now you have to prove us. That's not the way it works. You know, they have people that look over this, um, the documents and the responses. And if they feel that a, another issue is raised, they can raise it in a subsequent comment letter. So it's a, you know, this is a, we're moving along as fast as we can, but we can only move as fast as they let us move. <clears throat> so I don't know. Um, I'm confident that we've done everything that we need to at this point, but I'm not confident in terms of the fact that they may have more questions. Is that a fair statement, Harry? Uh, yeah, yeah, we answered their questions, I think, uh, appropriately, but who knows if they'll come back with additional questions. Yeah, that's always a, a concern. It's like with with a uh, registration statement. You can answer all the questions on the first moment letter and find out that there's more questions they want you to answer down the road. It's just a matter of whether they feel they've got enough information to make a determination. So that's good. Uh, I don't have my watch on, so I don't know when we started, but I got a feeling that we probably are gonna have to cut to some questions. I do wanna make sure that we address anything that's out there uh, that people would like to know about. Hi, David. Yes, we've Hi. got about two minutes left. You did address a lot of the questions from our viewers, so pardon me if any of these are super redundant, um, okay. but a question is, are you working alongside with an FDA expert or consultant that's advising you on how to answer these FDA questions uh, so there's a higher chance of orphan drug status being approved? I think the, the quick answer to that is yes. Okay. And how confident are you that orphan drug status will be approved? And what could the FDA come back with that would not get this through the approval process? Well, uh, I think that the biggest issue for us is probably they may want some some uh, clinical data from phase one, um, which that's fine. Uh, we'll move into phase one quickly and we will have more data available to them. So I'm not worried about that. And can you tell us a little bit about what the comments and questions were by the FDA for the orphan drug application and what your company's response was to those comments and questions? Well, not really. Unfortunately, this is stuff that needs to be, you know, I mean, are you an ax murderer? No. Okay, but at the end of the day, the questions are really uh, company specific and what we're doing. 
So for us to sit here and talk about back and forth conversations with the FDA uh, wouldn't be in our best interest. Understandable. Well, those are the questions for you. We will send them to you so you can answer on your own, but I want to give you a little bit of time to close uh, with any final thoughts for our viewers today. Well, we're at a, a very exciting point where we've got the orphan drug status application or the orphan drug application uh, filed. We're inches away from starting phase one, clinical phase one. And I think when we uh, when we do get that started, we should see uh, things dramatically change. And I believe that's exciting. I know it is for me, but I'm kind of a nerd about this, so. <laughs> I'm sure many people will be excited. Well, good luck with that. And thank you for always come on, on here and answering these questions. And we appreciate your time. Thank you, David. Thank you, Harry. All right. Thank you very much. All right, we'll see you again soon, and we'll see you all tomorrow. This is the last of day one. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. Eastern for day two of our virtual investor conference. Thank you all for joining. We'll see you tomorrow. Perfect.